What's up, everybody? Dust MTG from Hawaii with, uh, I gotta do this again. I gotta try it. These collector booster special editions from Lord of the Rings. And after I do this, uh, these short two packs opening, I'm gonna talk about uh, this little stack I got over there. Um, it's a whole bunch of vintage foils from Odyssey back in 2001. Kind of what I was playing when I was a young boy. Holy moly, can I open this pack? What is going on? So, yeah. <clears throat> um, if you're wondering, where is Hawaii? Well, that's actually the proper way to say Hawaii. Like, everybody says Hawaii. Oh my gosh, I want to go to, I want to, go to Hawaii. But truthfully, uh, yeah, the, the correct Hawaiian language pronunciation has the Okina. It looks like an apostrophe between the two eyes. Um, and you're supposed to, you know, supposed to split it up. So it's not Hawaii. It's Hawaii. And uh, yeah, the, the W is also a V. Ho ho, I see some stuff. Okay, let's get started. That was a too long of an intro, but hey, um, all you subscribers, y'all are awesome. Thanks for always tuning in and subscribing. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just a humble dude from Hawaii. And I'm just trying to get some random openings going. So let's get into it. Okay, dang, I love these Surge Foil. And yes, I'm a, I'm a Lord of the Rings fan, so these things are pretty nice. Rare Summons of Saruman. Oh, it's, it's good for orcs. Thinking about making a Lord of the Rings deck. Relic of Sauron. And another rare. Uh, okay. Oh, there's something shiny in the back. Oh, is this? Are we at there? Oh, oh. Isildu. Okay, probably probably not worth a lot, but really cool looking card. Dang, that looks awesome. Oh, we got something. It's just an uncommon. Okay, and are we going to get another? Oh, 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 mythic. Here we go. Oh, poster card. Here's my first poster card. Oh, okay, this is cool. I like the, damn, the search foils are cool. My first poster card, really nothing crazy, but how do you read this? Like, this is, I know this is supposed to be like those uh, secret layer bulletin poster whatevers, but I guess it's kind of cool. Okay, non-foil there, but we did hit a poster card, so that's kind of nice. Okay, second and final pack. I did clear out that uh, the local game store I got this from. Shout out to Mini Q in Pro Ridge on Oahu. Um, yeah, it's a mall. Uh, honestly, they're kind of high priced, but hey, you know you gotta support them, them uh, local game stores. Oh, Green or Worm Tongue. I hate that character so much. Who doesn't hate that character? Okay, revive the Shire. I still think these cards look a little unfinished. I don't know. Just my opinion, so. Okay, cool, Swampy. And let's get into the juice. Lidless Gaze, oh, ooh, sorry. Potato Camera, not doing the greatest right now. Another rare, the Gather. Okay. Oh, 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 what is this? Whoa! Oh, 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 this looks so crazy, can I get a? Can my potato camera get close up? Dude, I wish this was in foil. Wow, that that's a really crazy ability there. It's actually pretty interesting. Okay. Okay. I wish I did better on the surge foils. Uncommon. And uh, to finish with a river Kelpie. Oh, do I have? No, that's it. What is this? What? When River Kelby or another permanent enters the battlefield from a graveyard, draw a card. Whatever player cuts oh, okay, just graveyard stuff and persist. It doesn't die the first time. Uh just a quick recap. I mean I did get a poster card. I don't think this is worth a lot. Especially since it's not foil. But these are the hits, and that's pretty much it. Didn't get much in the rare slots. Um, again, um, I cleared out the the local game store I got this from. This is the last two packs they had. Uh, my potato camera, I'm sorry, I suck at filming. <laughs> Such an amateur. 
Um, oh yeah, yeah, whatever this is to summons of Saruman. Okay, cool. So, um, this is actually what I wanted to, uh, do. I wanted to show, <clears throat> yes, they're in sleeves. Um, I just got them in the mail. Uh, I wanted to show some of these actual vintage, um, you know, from, from back in 2000. So, oh my gosh i mean yes yes you can see it already a lot of foils from this age has this weird split some is like in the middle and it's random i really don't know what it is so if anybody can explain what you know how that happens during printing let me know that'd be really cool but um anyways geez this is crazy like i, I don't know if it's just my lighting or what but um, I don't know, something about these vintage foils, uh, I, I like to call this era the vintage modern, um, it's just way better than, you know, what actually, what we're having nowadays, you know, with the vintage throwback, they call it retro, um, yeah, okay, so these are commons, I'll show you, I think I got a few, so this is uncommon, you oh this is hard to tell oh this is a good um i like this card it's pretty good to play um yeah i just really like looking at these i like collecting them because this is just from a time that yeah here we go here we go foil rare uh let me let me take this one out um uh, after is this another foil rare sweet that's an uncommon yeah this is from a time when like the power um uh, wasn't the greatest um like i mean the gameplay you know so yeah this, you can kind of tell it's it's like gold i'm looking at the set symbol right here this is odyssey by the way i don't know if i said that but um yeah so four rares were hard to get you did get one in every box but but even just getting like a foil from the draft box back when they only had one product and yeah that's rare and these cards are really nice uh condition like whoever who i bought this from is um they were i guess trying to get rid of um you know their collection and and this person he really was unloading i don't know it's interesting to unload at this time but maybe he feels like oh this is another rare is this a rare yeah that's a rare maybe he feels like you know this is the best time to sell and and whatnot but um looking on um, who, this person's uh, other eBay listings, they had full sets of like the Urza's foils. Oh, it's so crazy. I mean, it's just, it's wild. So I was able to grab these. I want them on the auction. <laughs> I like these, this, this character, the, the patriarch, whatever. I think recently there was like, oh, was it Dominaria remastered? Uh, they looked weird. <laughs> like they look weird. So, yeah, I got to keep it to the old art. Eric Peterson. Yep, yep. The OG of that character. And these foils are just... I mean, like, the art isn't foiled, but I think, to me, that's the best part about it. It's just the frame, you know? I don't know. I'm pretty sure most of the retro foils nowadays... Whoa. Childhood horror. <laughs> Scary. Yeah, the um, the retro foil nowadays. I don't think they are as good. Nowhere near as good. So okay, so here's the greens. I like I like the green um, foils from this era. Man, all these cards are really really nice. Like they're meant to light play. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't go and grade these at all. It's not like 7th edition. Nice vanilla card right here. You know, just a 1-2-1 one, one drop. Oh, man. This green. This green foil just, just really looks super nice. Yeah, like, I don't know what it is, but just the, the nostalgia and the art. Oh, man. Ooh, simplify. And whew, just a different time. I don't have a lot of these cards in, like, regular... So seeing the, you know, whoa, that's pretty cool. Is that, a, I don't think that's a rare. Yeah, these aren't, these aren't, I don't think I have any green rares. 
Anyways, yeah, the, uh, man, this is so nice to look at. Oh, here's some artifacts. I'll take it out. Uh, is this is this a rare? Let me just look at this juggernaut. Juggernaut is a rare. It is sweet, man. All of these cards are really really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly go through these. Um, the rest of them. Here's another rare junk golem. Pretty awesome. And the last one, I do like the blue foils from back in the days too. I'll quickly go through these. I don't think I have any rares. Um, that is an uncommon. Yeah. Whew, man, look at this. Is it, ho, ho, ho. So nice. But um, I, I can't tell. With the blue, you know, I'm pretty sure this is uncommon though. But I just wanted to show these. Um, again, you know, thanks for tuning in and checking everything out. I will be having more collection videos. Uh, kind of running low on like, you know, the funds for magic. Magic is so expensive nowadays. Really just saving up. But I do have a Ravnica remastered collector box coming in. So, so look forward to that one. It should be coming in sometime this month. Um, hopefully, uh, you know, I can get some shock lands. That's really all I want from the set. Maybe a serialized from some Ravnica. But thanks for tuning in, everybody. I hope you take care. Be nice to others. And always be nice to yourself. Peace. Aloha.